genuinely how I feel. Whoa. Wait till you see this. Oh. What are you doing, Martin? Oh, ha! Oh. They're called, um, what, what, you need jam in the centre? Thumb, thumbprint cookies or something like that. Like, if you hold on to that for me, no, the actual tray. Look at them buttons. No, you made that go funny, see that? Right, so you just, um roll out your... These protein? No, they're absolutely not protein. That's so satisfying, I don't know why. I know, there's something amazing. Do you want to try it? Yeah, why not? You try one. Okay. Right. So down. Down but not to the... And then hold it. Aha, uh -huh, just so it can be filled without... <laughs> um, okay, let's go. That's a big one. They take... Nothing. I've, that's that's sliding so about. It's only sliding about because I've put okay, non-stick spray. There's more bacon cutting about. What else? There's more bacon cutting about. Okay, day in the diet today, I'm going to eat a kil- oh, nope, I'm going to eat three kilograms of sugar. Ah, yeah. Macros on the screen. No, it freaks me out. I have to ask, I have to ask you, have you ever seen strawberries washed in salt water? Apparently that's the proper way to do it. But if you watch the video, like, you'll literally never eat strawberries again. I'm going to buy strawberries today, I'm going to wash them. Can I have one? No. What's up people? So it's Reese Wimson for those who actually do not know me. Welcome to the channel. So today's my rest day, so the only thing I will do is I'll do active cardio. I'll do. I'll do. So you can close it. The weather's not the best. Oh, it's, it's getting there. Oh my jeez. I'm gonna actually need to... You need to help with Emma. I might need, need to... help to... licking the jam at that. I know. Um, uh, why do I, why do I love these? I don't know. Why do I love the look of these already? They look like cherry bakewells. Yeah, right. I'm tired. Why did my girlfriend bring a spare pair of trousers? Because you get a hole in one. Yes. Next. Yeah, I've got another one. What's wet but dries? A hole in one. Yes. <laughs> Moving it up a wee bit, there's a wee half that you stole, so... Jeez. You're getting a wee half bit of icing. Oops. Oh my days. Can I just have that? What? You can't have that one? No. And the bowl? No, you can't have the bowl. A little bit, Mum. How am I meant to go out run when you're making this? Well, you have one when you come back. True that. <laughs> That was that run. Oh, shaking my my wee calves. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, for lunch what I'm having is one tin of tuna, spring onion. I'm going to have some mayo inside it. I'm gonna have two slices of toast and then some salad. You actually forget how much protein is in a tin of tuna, like it's mad. It's mad on stick. I'm also gonna have one of these. Oh. I'm also gonna have one of these because like, how can I not? How can I not have one of these? Look at that. Okay, I'll see you later on for more stuff. I'll be having you. Okay, we are trying my mum's new creation. I'm gonna guess it's like a Bakewell cookie. Oh my god. That is so good. Oh my god. How done I man? One of the best things she's made. Ma, these are class. Class, babe. Mm. 
I genuinely don't understand why I'm so burnt. <sighs> Damn. Dinner we have mushrooms, onions, bean sprouts, a little bit of broccoli. Also having some mini fillets, so wee bits of chicken. And we have parsnips already in the oven. That'll do donkey. Maybe 150, 150 chicken. Jeez! Jeez! Okay, what I've got here is a full parsnip, broccoli, egg fried rice, bean sprouts, onions, mushrooms, and chicken. Mm. Okay. Mmm. See if these little strikes again. Mmm. You know what's a game changer? Soy sauce. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna eat this, upload my video. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is rest days. So as you know, it is my rest day today. The only activity I've done was my active rest. So I try and just get my steps up. So first off, you need to have your schedule for the week. For me, I either work out from four to six times a week and it must be balanced. So you try and increase the frequency of the muscle that you train. So for example, pull movement, so my back and biceps. I do that twice a week, as well as like my chest, shoulders and triceps, twice a week, legs, twice a week. So what I'll do is I'll put them around my week schedule so that I hit them twice. But this might mean that I do four days, so let's just say upper and lower, twice. Or I do push pull legs, upper lower. Or I do push pull legs, push pull legs. Rest is so important, like it's probably the most important part about building muscle. If you don't rest and you're not giving your muscles a chance to actually recover, it's very bad for guys when they work like their chest and arms, like that's the most common muscle groups. If they keep on training them every single day, then they're not giving them a chance to actually recover and grow. When a muscle tears, it has to repair, and that's why when you work out very intense, you're sore the next day. This isn't just repairing. This just means you need to give it like a couple of days to recover, wait till it's ready and then hit it again, and you'll probably be a lot stronger. It also comes down to women as well. When women train their glutes, they might train it too much. And this means that it will not grow. As much as women want just glutes, like I know a lot of people just want big bum, but if they want an all round physique, then they must train the full body. And this gives, for example, if they train glutes on a Monday, so just say legs, uh, and then they can rest till the, the Thursday. And this means that it gives you a chance to work on even like your shoulders, making your waist look smaller, or even different parts of your body. A big thing about this is actually listen to your body. So, for example, if you have a scheduled push day, so your chest, shoulders and triceps, but you're still sore from the last time, or when you've worked out an upper body session or your pull session, your arms are still sore, try and avoid working a muscle group if it's sore, because it's not ready to perform at the highest level again. So this just means that it needs maybe another day of rest. So I used to, if I had a chest day, I would instantly go hit chest, even though I'm probably not ready for it if I was sore. But nowadays, if I am sore, I will not work that muscle group until it's recovered. And this just means that I give it the full capacity of recovery time to actually build. It's just a smarter and more effective way. Also, diets on the rest day. For me, I don't actually like changing my macros and calories on my rest day. I know a lot of people do because they're not expending that energy that they would at a normal day. But for me, it needs to have but for me, when you just intake the same food, you're actually using that energy to recover properly. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people miss, misinterpret. It's entirely up to you if you want to reduce your calories on your rest days because you're not using, you're not using the carbs, the glycogen for fuel. You'll probably be less active, you won't move as much, but it's really up to you. All you would do for this one is drop your calories on that day and you'd probably increase the other days but for me, I just keep it all consistent throughout the week. Also, when I mean resting as well, this could mean that you work your legs on a Monday, the next day you work your upper body. That's a rest for your legs. So it comes under two things. You can either have a full day of rest, so your full body resting, or you can have a muscle group resting. What I like to do is sometimes on my rest days an active cardio. So this is just me getting my blood 
moving throughout my body, get my muscles working again, it almost relaxes me. Some days I do like to do nothing, but it's, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you did enjoy the video, daily vlogs like this, make sure you drop it a like. Comment if you want to comment what other stuff you actually want to see. Uh, and also, if you've not subscribed, make sure you're hitting the button. So yeah, guys, stay safe, stay positive, stay grateful, and I will see you in the next one.